Today we're going to do an at a glance overview of the Knowledge Base Cloud Part by Bamboo Solutions. So here's what our Knowledge Base Cloud Part looks like, just a really simple version of it. Obviously, if your Knowledge Base is in use, it will be a lot more robust with a lot more articles. Here's the landing page. This is the articles page, also known. There are two ways of approaching the Knowledge Base Cloud Part. There's the admin view and management and then there's the user view. So what you're seeing right here is what an admin would come in and see. Obviously there's a lot more options on the left over here. Whereas if you were to come in as a user, this is all you can see on the side. So we'll go over kind of the differences as we go through this, but we're gonna target this from the admin position and then I'll come back in and show you what a user will see. I'm gonna try and keep this brief because this is just supposed to be at a glance. So on the home page, you can see all the articles that are published. You can have articles favorited and you can also look at articles by the tags. Tags are something that you can create on the fly while you are creating an article. Categories on the other hand are something that the admins set up ahead of time and are used as a more formal way of categorizing your articles. All right, so now that we've gone over these tags, also there's a search bar here. This search is on the title and also the tags. However, the auto populating that is done in this dropdown only shows you uh, title dropdowns. If you search for something that's in the tag, it's not, it's gonna say no data found, but just hit enter or the uh, search glass and it will bring up the results. Okay, so as an admin, this is kind of what you see on your landing page. It's basically the same thing a user sees on this page. Next, a user, a user can also see this page. This is our dashboard. You can view your articles by these four categories. This is constantly updated as people use your knowledge base. This is nice as an admin to be able to see what people are using and what they value from your knowledge base. And then as a user, this is nice because you can come in here and quickly see where the quick value is, right? Next, we have our tag density tab. So this will show you, obviously this isn't very robust on here because this is a you know dummy site, but this will show you um, the articles and the tag density based on size. So this will get larger as more articles get tagged to them. Same thing here, but this is by views. So you can see more people have viewed articles with the tag density link as compared to Lorem. Okay. This is also viewable the same as a user. Next is our advanced search tab. So here a user or an admin can come in and search the knowledge base in a more specific way than the little search bar at the top on the homepage gives you. Just in case there's something very specific they're looking for and they know more details, they can come here. Like, we'll put this so you can see how it's viewed, okay? And then they also have the ability to export the results or print. <clears throat> Next, um, there's the questions. So again, a user can see this section exactly the same way. They can click see all questions and they can see all the questions or they can click I have a question and it gives them a form to fill out and submit a question to the admins. Um, and they also have tabs to view answered questions and unanswered questions. This tab right here is where the separation begins between admin and user. Users do not see this. This is for admins to manage and create the database. So as you can see, we have these four different options here. The first and most important one is manage articles. So this is where an admin creates articles. On top of creating articles, you can also edit existing articles just by clicking on them. Here are the options to edit. Um, create a new article. Your options are title, body, again, category, external resource allows you to add a link and tags, you can use existing tags or create new tags. That's how you create a new tag, just like that. Review date is for pending approval and you set a reviewer. And then again, the expiration date takes the article out of that home view and archives it. Uh, anything that is archived is retrievable if it accidentally gets pushed over to being archived. And over here, you can select a category to assign the article to as well. Doesn't need to be assigned one though. Oh, and also you can attach files and you can relate the article to another article that already exists in your knowledge base. And then when you're done, you hit save and you have a new article. Oh, also anytime you're creating or editing an article, you can hit save as template 
and that's how you can create a template uh, easily. Okay. Um, these are just little tabs that can help the administrator sort through what they're looking for. Expiring soon, you can see something that's about to get archived, etc. Um, manage questions. This is where you come in and answer any questions or mark that a question needs an article. So if there's an unanswered question in here, you come in, click on it, and you can answer it. Um, you can always come back and add more to it, and you can check and uncheck these boxes at will. Or if it's like a not a great question in there, you can always just delete the question. Next is manage categories. This is where an admin sets up those categories. Uh, you have the option to nest underneath a parent. <sighs> Create a new category. This is um, this is where you set up, you can set up individual permission groups for different categories. So say you have like a private category or you know, a upper management category, you can restrict access to documents tagged to that category. And you can either create a new SharePoint permission group for that, or you can use an existing group in your AD. So it's up to you on that, but this is a really cool feature that adds just a little extra layer of security into your knowledge base. And then lastly, there's the manage templates. So like I said earlier, you can create a template from an article directly with the button in the top left, or you can create one with this button right here. So that really sums up this admin tab right here. Again, users cannot see this. Next is the search analytics. This just shows what your users are searching for and how frequently um, and when. And if they clicked on the, any results that were yielded and what they clicked on. Okay. And then we have the settings, which is um, you can move the SharePoint terminology to your term store. Uh, not reversible, so once you port these over, they're ported over. Um, and then this toggles off showing the questions in the menu. So if you don't want your users to be able to see these questions or ask questions, you can turn them off if you don't think that's necessary for your uh, organization. And then lastly, we just have a link to the user manual for our knowledge base, which can give you more detailed information and text if you're a, you know, a reading-based user instead of listening to a video and having to find what you're looking for in this video. Yeah, so I did want to um, also just pop back over to what a user page looks like really quickly. Um, just so you can see, they have a much more limited view on the left. They don't have any of those admin options, but we can ask a question because we have that turned on in the settings. All right, well, thank you for hanging on with me if you made it this far. I know this video is a little bit longer than the rest of that, a glance videos, but really there's so much to capture inside of Knowledge Base, and I'm sure there were a few things I was not able to touch on. Um, so if you want to check out the product, get a trial, look at more details or any of our other products, feel free to visit the website listed below. And yeah, thanks.